Ahoj, ahoj, my name is Lenka Aušri. Welcome to Skincare with Lenka. Before we start, I would love if you subscribe to my channel. I will appreciate it a lot. In today's video, I will talk about this home device, which is portable high frequency LZ006A. I have purchased this device from Takealot and it was uh, 363 Rand. I was looking about this device for a long time because Actually, originally it cost around 1,500 rand, which was a little bit expensive, but the price went so drastically down that I decided to purchase it. So I have mixed feeling about this device because I couldn't find anything like in medical studies to confirm its efficacy, if it's a reduced wrinkle or help with acne or hair growth. There's simply nothing I could find uh, from like a medical medical study, but the beauticians and aestheticians, they swear by it, that it works. Uh, so I decided to purchase it and give it a go. So as I mentioned just now, I couldn't find any medical studies uh, about this device. So I sourced my information from two websites and uh, that was laserskinsolution.com.au and from stylecrazed.com. So high frequency is a not new technology. It is actually quite old and it has been used for many years. It is all used for variety conditions, including acne management, enlarged pores, fine lines and wrinkles, puffy or dark eyes and hair growth. All right, let me show you the device. It looks like this. So it's a wand and it has four attachments. So it comes off like this. You push it in and then make sure the device is off. Uh, otherwise it's gonna shock you uh, and you just simply turn the knob and you start hearing the buzzing uh, and you can put it different intensity obviously uh, you don't need to go uh, super strong and if you touch it you can see that it turns gas inside a uh, red color this is uh, happening because inside the tube is gas either argon or neon and is usually changed uh, to either violet uh, blue color or uh, red color. But the beauticians are saying that actually uh, it doesn't matter that it, if it's uh, argan or neon, they work for acne and anti-aging the same way. Let me show you the attachments uh, this device came from. This is a hair comb, obviously for the hair. This one is for spot treatment, so you uh, zapping the pimple a uh, few times in a row. Uh, this is for more um, like nook and creenies uh, that you can go easily around your nose uh, and your eyes and this is for bigger areas uh, for your face. I am very interested in the hair growth claim uh, because for the past few years my hair got very thin, especially on the sides, on the temples. Uh, so I have very, very thin hair there and generally my hair is super thin. Uh, but it got worse past few years, so I thought I will give this device a try. I recommend if you are experiencing thinning of the hair to visit your doctor and check for the testosterone levels, uh, for your thyroid uh, and iron levels. I currently take iron supplement to help me regrow my hair. So for the hair it's actually quite easy, let me just show you. All right, so make sure when you use this device, your hair is dry, you haven't used anything uh, flammable, like hairspray uh, and stuff like that, so your hair should be clean. Remove your jewelry so you don't uh, accidentally touch and shock yourself. Um, and make sure that your hair is dry dry because it's electric current and you don't want to shock yourself. All right, so like a demo is, uh, is enough. Actually, I do it for about 10 minutes uh, when I do the treatment. Um, so each section should be uh, treated for about two, three minutes. So how they would use this device, uh, for example, in hair clinic or a beautician salon. Uh, by the way, I will link those uh, two websites I was mentioning before where, from where I'm sourcing the information down in the description box so you can have a look. So uh, one of these places, they specifically do the hair treatment with high frequency and they're explaining what they would do as a treatment. So they would say that they would divide and the hair into five uh, to six sections. They would work on one section for two, three minutes, as I mentioned before. 
Uh, afterwards, they would use the UV uh, lamp for some reason. I never heard that for like a hair growth, but uh, I will uh, look into it in the future. And of course, they do some head massage with some oil uh, or some treatment uh, to help uh, with, uh, with the hair growth. I would uh, suggest to do maybe afterwards like a rosemary extract that, that was shown that it helps with the hair growth. But do not use the essential oil straight on your scalp, uh, like rosemary essential oil. Uh, it's better to buy fresh rosemary, boil it for like half an hour, hour, let it cool down, put in a spray bottle and uh, apply the a solution uh, like that. It won't cause, uh, it is unlikely it will cause irritation that way, but uh, essential oils, if you apply directly to skin, it's, it's going to be very irritating and it's not good for hair growth. So how the high frequency stimulates the hair growth? So according to the website, it stimulates the hair follicles promoting faster hair growth. A second is it improves blood circulation to the scalp, allowing nutrient delivery. It also improves the cell turnover rate, minimizes dandruff, uh, keeps the scalp healthy. Who should not use this device? So according to the website, if you have any autoimmune disorders like rheumatoid arthritis, if you have peacemaker or any large metallic implant in your body or you are pregnant. I have used this device only for about five times so it is way too early to say if it's work or not uh, but I will do definitely follow up in about six months to see if it helped my hair growth or uh, how my skin react to it. By the way the next video I will be shooting probably from my bedroom uh, hopefully it will be possible because we're gonna do some renovations and it's gonna take a few months uh, to do it and we're gonna still live in the house during the renovation so it's gonna be it's gonna be a big challenge uh, we need to move everything to the bedroom to kind of live like in studio apartment uh, so everything has to be accessible from from the bedroom and I need to use my studio as a storage place for the furniture so it will be very challenging for me next few months. Uh, I'm very much not looking forward to it, uh, but it has to be done. Um, so I hope you will forgive uh, my uh, temporary solutions to the uh, background and uh, where I'm gonna shoot. And that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Hit the notification bell so you can see all my future videos. And don't forget to subscribe. It will mean a lot to me if you do. Ciao, ciao. See you next time.